lockdown mode's interesting um, to me, uh, mostly because uh, not for not for myself, but because I have worked with people that are um, maybe not like super high priority targets, but they're pri they're uh, paranoid enough to think that they are, or if they're traveling overseas or traveling into a you know um, you know off the grid sort of a situation where they're not necessarily going to be you know in constant um, contact with you know the management infrastructure or that's helping to keep them safe or their you know their uh personal assistants that are actually handling their phones they're you know they're having to do it for themselves um so the the lockdown mode for uh for those that haven't already read through the docs basically uh it seems like a move for uh and they specifically call out journalists uh people who might be uh targeted by the uh, a government or uh, a government um, uh, sponsored agency uh, to be you know on a watch list or whatever um, and i can still also see recommending this for like i said the c-level the ceo the cxos of of the world uh executives who who you think might qualify as you know a potential target for that like spear phishing attack um lockdown should prevent changes to or new profiles being added onto a device once it's enabled um, it's an additional measure that you know prevents people from you know surreptitiously uh sending you uh an enrollment or a certificate or a profile to install on the device and adding some you know a uh, bogus profile that gives the attacker that mdm level access to the phone um, at the same time be aware it also uh means that there's no MDM infrastructure for handling it. So you can't enable or disable it via a, a legitimate MDM once it's turned on, which is kind of the point. Um, once the device's owner says, oh, this is in lockdown mode, uh, they're not gonna be able to add in a new VPN or a new uh, certificate to allow them onto a, uh, you know, a different uh, management uh, system. Uh, and it's gonna obviously take some user training on the part of the admins to say, uh, once you turn this on, don't trust anyone who tells you, okay, in order to do this or install this software or whatever, you need to turn off lockdown mode. You can't, you can't sign on to the Wi-Fi here unless you turn off lockdown mode. That's a red flag. Oh yeah. I mean, no doubt. Now I don't want to get people afraid here and say that if their CEO turns on lockdown mode on their own, that your MDM will stop working because that is not the case. Your mobile device management solution, once it's on the device, is still in charge of that device, despite or and or unless or or uh, despite or in charge of or excuse me, I'm having trouble with words today. Despite or because of the lockdown mode as a whole, uh, lockdown mode is really meant for uh, parties that are having uh, you know uh, or that are under additional threat. I used to work with a couple of folks in international finance who are in charge of the uh, you know the sanctions regimes. Uh, you, know, you know, here in the United States, and they had, they had, they were under constant assault, uh, and so they were on hardware tokens for their email address. They were on, you know, all manner of things. This is for those people. Uh, and so if you've got real, you know, concerns about your safety, uh, if someone were to gain access to your device, I would strongly encourage you to turn this on. But as Charles mentioned, there's no on off switch for this in MDM. And more than that, you can't even know if a device is currently in lockdown mode if you're the MDM. So just be aware of that. That's something that, you know, if, if you're concerned that you want to know whose devices are in lockdown mode currently, you know, uh, that's a great place for, uh, you know, some feedback to Apple uh, that they might want to hear about that. So if you wanted to know whose device was in lockdown mode, uh, that would be a valuable thing to, to provide through the feedback channel. Yeah. Ideally, cool. you would know who those targets are, who those people are that would be um, potential users and you would be the one that would recommend or recommend against them doing that but ultimately if they're holding the phone they are the owner of the phone or of the mac or uh, the ipad or whatever um they can turn it on and off only at that point you know they're still on your mdm they're still being managed as i said I, or as tom said i'm sorry if i didn't make that clear uh, it just means that you can't so you can't push through mdm to turn it off yeah that's correct and so the other the other interesting thing is that what this actually changes on device isn't just the profiles that are suddenly missing or the ability to add profiles or not do things. Some attachments in iMessage will not show up 
Um, they will be, you know, you'll have to download them into a file, into the files app and launch them that way. Um, and those include PDFs and graphics. So if you were expecting a, a deep link into the preview of a, a PDF, you're not gonna get it. Uh, it also turns off shared photo libraries as part of iCloud. So that if you're in a shared photo library for your family, you're not gonna see those photos on, your, on the device that's in lockdown mode. Um, those are just vectors that Apple has decided are not available to iOS at that time. So those are two of the major features. Strongly encourage folks to uh, take a look at Apple's documentation on this subject, on this, as well as on Safety Check. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.